I've always been curious how much the TMT modeling randomization really influences the sound in the Plugin Alliance and Brainworks channel strip. So I'm going to do a little experiment using the Lindell 50 channel strip. Here I have a not too complex arrangement and I've got the Lindell plugin across the top slot in every single one of my channels. And they're all set the exact same way. I've got the THD dialed up 12 dB and I've got the gain dialed up 6 dB and I'm using the unity button. So we're getting some of the analog modeling goodness that is purported to be generated by these emulations. And they're all set to channel one and two right now. I'll play you a little bit of this with all of these bypassed. And now with them all in, bit of a volume change with the saturation and unity gain. But what I want to do is bounce a version of this, have a little eight bar section set here, and then I'm going to randomize the channel and do a few different bounces. So let me start by bouncing this down 24 bit with no dithering and we'll just name it. Great. So now let's randomize all. I'll hit play and we probably won't hear any significant difference like this. And that's fine. And if I click on the different channel strips, we'll see that they're all randomized differently. Some of them are mono, some of them are stereo, but they're all randomized differently. So with that done, let's bounce this and I'll call it random 01. Let's randomize them all again. And now let's do the same thing and we'll call this one random 02. So there, randomize them all again. And we'll do one last one. Randomize again, bounce, and we'll call it random 04. Now I've got my original track where they're all set to one, two, and then I've got all the randomized variations lined up. Let's solo between them and see what kind of differences we can hear. So there are some subtle differences. Now, what I've done is I've put a gain plugin on each of these randomized versions and I've inverted the phase on left and right. And that's the only change that's done there. So I'm going to just enable all of these. And now what I'm going to do is solo lock this and we'll play them together and hear what the phase cancellation is like. Now to start with, I've copied this where they're all at one, two onto another track with the game plugin, and this should technically cancel out when I hit play. So I'll solo these two together and there should be silence, as we would expect. So let's solo this one along with the first randomization. And that's the differentiation we're hearing. Let's hear it along with the second randomization. Go to the third one. Fourth. So what's the conclusion we can draw here? There definitely is something happening. When we flip the phase on the randomized versions, there's definitely not perfect cancellation. So there is some differentiation. Now, how significant is the differentiation between the different randomizations? Let's do another test. I'm gonna take this out of solo lock mode and let's get rid of these two versions. And what I'm gonna do is do the phase invert test between one of these randomizations and the others. So I'm taking the gain plugin out here. In fact, let's get rid of it so there's really no room for any error. So we'll compare this with the phase inverted versions of the others. I'll put this one in solo lock mode now and solo this and let's hear what differentiation we have. Okay, so there is some differentiation. So net conclusion here, there is some differentiation happening between all the randomizations. It would be great if 
Brainworks gave us the ability to undo or go backwards when we're going through the randomization. So this way we could play back our mix with this across all the channels, keep hitting the random button till one we like, and just go with that. But if we find one we like and go to another one and decide we like the one before better, there's really no going backwards or stepping back. So it would be great to have either an undo history or an undo button for that. Hope you've found this instructive. And that's my take on the TMT modeling in the Brainworks channel strips.